something like a storm that can just hunt the brood for days on it. Okay, it is the FY Naga. I mean, it w I wouldn't. Size getting a bit of harassment here from Q. He tries to trade auto attacks. Aggressive moves into position and garners here. This could be the first blood. They get the Janata slow, or rather the uh, Orb of Venom slow. And there you go. Just like that, C Duck on the board. Q gets the first blood. And this is where the Bristleback power farm against the Jarrah Company has been roaming too much and not really getting much. That Rocket Barrage cooldown does, doesn't do much damage to a Bristleback when he turns his back on you. This is actually one of the better heroes to have against the oh, Jarrah Company. Rear. Have they finally found a freaking opening? Nope, not even. Hookshot's there. They do get the one kill, but Cheeky's trapped within the cons. Queen of Pain Hulk comes out. The net holds him in place. XZ lucky to live through this. And Hal's going to look to rampage his way through the back line. Call down connecting, though. They do break down one. It's a close exchange so far. Two for one. The track onto Ice Ice Ice. They're just trying to ignore this Bristleback of Hal, but it's not going to work much longer. Q next on the list. How? Oh, don't know if he finds anything more here. It might be Garter. Detection is gone, but he may well. Oh, Blake Scream, that'll do it. Three to two, the fight overall. Uh, the Bristle didn't even take a lick of damage. Scream and aggressive. The purchase a top high ground. The team doesn't scout him, but they most likely expect the backstab here. And they get Roche into the danger zone. Time to go. Call on coming through. We'll connect on Super, who's tracked. Double familiar stun. Brute Spider League, not enough. He brings out the safety. Where's the Laguna? They can't get it off. And now Hal charges forward. Garter didn't manage to finish off that fight. And XZ doesn't get him. Oh, he had Super, but the hook from Ice 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 denies him. And they tab Hal on the run, who comes back in as the quill stack up. There's the Cogs. Beautiful by Ice Ice Ice. Pulls two in, but they managed. To be near the bristleback somehow, some way, and C Deck have found the damage. Multiple soul subjects and the Laguna out of nowhere. What do you know? It's a C Deck team. I pile in the track gold and give them a no radiant vision. But how just keeps on scurrying about in his own woods. They get swarmed on. They do have BKBs here, but coming in is the smoke gang. I say, say, super and Fenrir all clumped up together. Maybe they lose Garter. Maybe they lose more BKB from aggressive. He's gonna engage. Diving on to Super, trying to finish him off here before the Blakey gets the kill. He's even chasing on to Hal, and he's got the backup of XZ. There is a song available from FY, and he hits the eject button and says, get the hell out. This fight is over again. Trying for it. Bottom lane, meanwhile, Q getting... There we go, there's the deep boards behind the bottom T2 tower. Maybe look for a kill on Fenrir. Fenrir looking to shadow walk away. He's baited Q in, and Q may pay for this with his life. c getting a bit sloppy here. Starting to feed out quite a bit. Aggressive looks to hold the line here. He's charging forward, but he's going into four heroes. It's only XZ at his side. He still manages to pound through Ice Ice Ice, and they have the Laguna ready for Hal, but he shoots it while Hal's back's turned. Not quite the damage they wanted, but the BKB ends. What a timing for a stun. Cheeky doing the math, and Getting another kill on how I have no. They're doing like what would be like three to four k damage worth of hero of, of damage to a non bristleback hero, yeah. to a bristleback essentially. It's just like you've just got to keep on throwing spells, keep on throwing rocket barrages, keep on attacking with your deso brood, and now the high ground is being sieged. T three tower brought down and Rax exposed. There is a radiance. This is the time you want to get this first lane of Rax before Fy can start yeah. really split pushing out. They haven't committed fully yet, but they're going for it. They get the stun on Super, and XD goes in. That death so damn it! Are you kidding me? XC chewing through them. They're going to lose a couple now, but they've gotten the Rex. Two dead, and C Deck booking it out of there. I, I think worth it, Gods, for that Rex. It's a minute before Roche respawns. If they get wiped here, this could lead to a Beachy Aegis. I think just needs a Sonic Wave, and then there's no more Creep Wave for him. There's the ult. No, trying to find it. It's not a great ultimate. As Aggressive plays into Hal's backside and forces him out of the fight. They lift up XZ. He didn't BKB in time. Now the stun on the Hal. And Blake in front of him. Cheeky just rips him a new one. That's some swag play from Melina. But now the turnaround. Poke in from Ice Ice Ice. Can he make something out of this? XZ manning up with the BKB. Is able to get the job done and now C Deck have punched a hole in the beachy base. Two lanes of Rex down, no buyback on Hal, and it might just be GG all of a sudden, just like that. Wouldn't be surprised to commit to this third lane as well. The range tracks have They're going back in, they've stolen the Laguna Blade, trying to throw it against him. They do bring XZ down, but Super may pay the ultimate price. There's the song. And fight with the reset, he can finish off Q here quickly. Aggressive has a satanic soon though, and they're just trying to stall this one out. They heal up Q, he's gonna survive. Call down coming in, they're focusing on buildings here, not really worried about heroes too much. 
much. Laguna's ready as well. They have to be careful not to give up more kills. Ice, Ice, Ice could get Laguna right now and die almost from full health. He's just above the threshold. The stun. Oh, he's dead as well. Shiki racks up another. Aggressive, the one to claim the kill. Super forced to buy back. And buy back in the fray. Aggressive track. Lifted up and down. He does Satanic and tries to fight his way through, but he's hitting illusions. Now he hits the real hero. He hangs on and he chases after Super. Has to blink to the left. Makes it out. The melee down mid. C deck again and again with the upsets. Looking to make this another one. TPing out in their face, pouring salt into the wound. They may lose Garner here, but the base is in shambles. And this team, gods, who would have thought? Ability to call down. Even if, because it just means you get more auto attack. Oh, and the double flak, of course. How could we forget that? If they get the Sages and just go down mid, Beachy can have a very hard time holding. The base is low, but as you can see, the fight breaks out near the road champ. Hit FY immediately. Laguna almost set up the bad. XEN and the blinking spider. It's something out of the most horrible nightmare. And it will kill him off. Now the secondary called on. How can't turn his back, won't turn his back, and will die back. He's, he's blinking. Well, actually, that's just the death, but he's dead for a long time. The blinking regardless. brood there in the top lane, it was the blinking Lena where when the stun hits Bristle, you blink past, get the Laguna from the front. These have been the key late game items. This it was a last item blink on both of them. And then there you have it, guys. See that? Take game one of this best of two, and they have pretty much clinched the top four finish, and quite likely they're going to be eyeing off the top spot in this group B. And I think Vici looked at the way the Bristleback got started for Hal, and they felt like the Brood had been dealt with. They hadn't given up kills. In fact, they had shut down the Bounty Hunter Rome, and you know. I do go back to some of those missed Ice 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 hooks. Definitely not the only reason they lose the game, but he normally hits at least half of those, and he only found...